Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new around here. And I am so grateful to be making today's video because we have finally got native support for the DualSense controller on Black Ops Cold War. That means no more needing to download third party apps to get the adaptive triggers working or to get just the controller working itself. Black Ops Cold War is now supporting it just straight out of the box, plug and play the same way the PS4 control works on PC. Now, Modern Warfare does not yet support this natively. You are still going to need to use DS4 to get the controller connected and playing on Modern Warfare. And you are still going to need to use uh, DualSense X if you want the adaptive triggers to be working for you. But when it comes to Cold War, it's plug and play. It's got adaptive trigger feature built into the game for the controller as well. So I'm going to show you guys real quick how to set that up. I mean, I don't know if I'm the only one that's this excited, but I've been waiting for this since the controller came out, literally. So let's just jump straight into this and I'll show you guys pretty much how to do it is very very simple okay so first things first you need to plug your controller into the pc using a usb type c cable which supports data transfer if it doesn't support data transfer it is not going to work on the dual sense controller so you're going to plug that in it's going to flash as if the controller is charging and bear in mind as well when you're doing this make sure you have got ds4 shut down so you just open the app and click stop in the bottom right hand corner otherwise it will not work so the controller will continue to flash orange on either side until the game is booted up once the game has booted up, you'll see those two orange flashing lights go away, so it's out of charger mode now. And then there'll be one solid white light at the bottom, which means it is now connected and ready to use on the game. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do once the game is loaded up and your controller is connected, you're going to go ahead and click on settings and then scroll over to where you see controller. You can then scroll down, you can enable controller vibration if you want to, completely up to you. But just below that is where we are seeing the new feature finally come to PC. That is the trigger haptics and the vibration intensity. And basically playing with this will put the actual controller vibration and the adaptive trigger vibrations up and down, depending on which way you go. So I've already got my one enabled. Uh, however, I think when you first come onto the app, it's automatically disabled. So you want to go on here and just enable it. If it's already enabled for you, then great. And literally all you need to do after that is jump into a game. So I'll jump into a game of uh, Rush. Okay, so the game is now loaded up and we're just going to go ahead and select our gun. So we're going to go with this. And as soon as you've dropped into the game, you will notice, that was a bit weird what just happened there. Uh, you'll notice that the triggers will become a lot stiffer, which is because the haptic is enabled. And now when we are firing them, I mean, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but we're definitely getting haptic feedback through the triggers and it actually feels really good. I mean, generally speaking, you won't really use this too much on multiplayer unless you're just, unless you are literally just playing like for kind of the experience and not trying to play competitively because it's not as easy to play competitively as that um, because obviously it makes your time to kill. Well, sorry, it makes your time to aim and shoot a lot slower. But it's a great feature to have and it's going to be amazing when you're playing it in modes like zombies or campaign and stuff like that. And even on multiplayer as well, if you're just playing for fun and you're not trying to play competitively, it is really good to have the haptic um, feature on Cold War for PC. I've been wanting this literally since the control came out. Um, so yeah, it really is quite hard to show you guys because, I mean, I don't. you can't really tell how hard I'm pressing down on that for it to, to trigger off. And you also can't really see that. However, I can completely feel it. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's, that's adaptive triggers on Cold War. And also not only adaptive triggers, the controller is completely supported. You can disable the haptic triggers and just use the controller as you normally would without having to use any third party apps, which is good because it means you'll get less input lag as well. But yeah, there you go, guys. That is it for the video. I just wanted to show you that adaptive triggers are finally supported natively on Black Ops Cold War. And I'm excited to see if we can get that same native support on Modern Warfare in the future. I'm guessing we will since we now have got it on Black Ops Cold War. So fingers crossed that we do get that support. But if you did enjoy this video or found it helpful, then don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications, go upload videos just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.